Here's what disgusts me about this subject. If I were Deshaun Watson, or if I were a quarterback on the collegiate level and I had any cachet, I had the ability to sit up there and tell NFL scouts, NFL teams, y'all could kiss where you know what, I would do it. And here's why. Because if you are Deshaun Watson, who in two national championship games passed for over 850 yards, won a national championship, was 32-3 and three as a starting quarterback in big-time college football, and has proven himself to be a winner, you got a coach in Dabo Sweeney calling this dude the Jordan of the draft in terms of not just his ability, but his class, where his head is at, his yeah. intelligence, his leadership ability, and all of these intangibles. And I'm going to drop in the draft because of some dude in the Tar Heels. This ain't basketball we're talking about here. This is football. The Tar, tar Heels. Last when the hell have they been in a national championship picture? And this dude plays, starts 13 games. Okay, and we didn't even hear much about him until the damn sky, until the damn draft was approaching. And I'm going to lose. I am, with all I've accomplished, and I'm just showing Watson, with all that I've accomplished in college football, I get relegated for him? And why am I talking to you? Why am I wasting my time? Why am I getting half naked, having you measure my vertical leaps, the how much I run and all of this stuff, my eating habits, who I date, getting all in my... Why am I even talking to you if I got to sit up here and, 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 and be relegated for some dude who was a damn no-name until the draft was well, approaching I mean, because he had 13 well, starts? Look, look, look. I wouldn't even I'm show up. You, I'm Just with draft you me. Deshaun Just Watson. draft me. Deshaun or Watson, not. to me, it would be the first but, quarterback I... I would take mm -hmm. but the thing about the NFL is it's ruthless in terms of this stuff they really don't care what you did on one level if they evaluate you and go then why I got to go he, through all of he's that he's not accurate enough with the deep ball that guy's more accurate that's the way all I'm trying to all I'm trying to say is this I should not have right. if I'm a Deshaun Watson I should not have, I'm not talking about just him I'm talking about all the Deshaun Watsons of the world I should not have to be subjected to the personal elements of screen damn it watch the tape you saw what I did. Make your call. You he got plenty of video. That That's Perfect. really and, what it is. And the funny thing about this, and, and, and being an African-American quarterback, I'm with you, Stephen A., it's always something negative that they want to bring up, the accuracy. But they bring up the mobility and how our arm strength is. The thing that reminds me of this particular draft, it goes back to Cam Newton. Cam Newton. When Cam Newton all of a sudden – he was the best player in college football. And number one. Won a national championship. But who was he battling with? Blaine Gabbard. Blaine. Blaine sure. Gabbard. As Stephen A. Was, Blaine Gabbard. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's Trubisky to me. Yep. I mean, although Ben Roethlisberger kind of came out of nowhere and went high up in the draft, and, and people really weren't talking a lot about him till right before yeah, the draft. Yeah, but he went to Miami, Ohio. Here's a guy that went to North Carolina. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and, ACC. and by the way, Carson National Wentz, kind of the same thing, and Carson Wentz balled out last year. North I mean, Dakota State, they're wrong, though. Sometimes they're right. North Dakota State won. 